My name is Matt Roloff, and this is my wife, Amy. We're little people. When you're only four foot tall, you're feeling like you're living in a world that wasn't made for you. We have to face obstacles and challenges just to live an ordinary life. Three of our kids are average height, and only one of them is little like us. We have twins, but some people don't believe us because Zach is little like us and Jeremy isn't. One thing I wish people would understand about little people is... We can pretty much do what everyone else does, but just in a different way. And this is our story. Our family. Zach and I were on our way to Oakland for another doctor's appointment with Dr. Scott Hoppinger. It has been about four weeks since the original surgery, and so we were going back to see if his, everything went okay. Both Zachary and I were kind of apprehensive, you know, about this doctor's appointment because so many things could be happening. You know, is his leg healing well? Could we take off the original cast so that he could have a different cast on so he could get around more? Zachary was a little paranoid about every little bump, every little thing that he did before this appointment. So um, it's a bunch of mixed feelings. You know, we, we weren't quite sure. I mean, we hoped for the best and expected the best, but there's always that one little thing. Before we close the corner way to Oakland, your carry-on luggage should be in the overhead bin. So you have a clear all way by your feet. This trip to get my cast changed from the longer cast to the shorter cast is another step further to being out of the cast completely. Having surgery on your leg is hurts like a ton. And then being in a cast and not being able to walk, it's also pretty mo more emotionally painful also. You can't really do much, you have to just sit there. I've fallen down a couple times from like being cast, so I'm really worried that I might have tweaked something. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. Good to see you again. How are you? Good. You feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah, he was worried a little bit because, you know, his leg got well, every time I hit there, it, and I was like, oh, shit. He was a little oh. paranoid. I worry about it, too. Yeah. I worry about and and that's one of the reasons for the hardware in there is it should resist the tendency of things to displace. Like a lot of other LPs and dwarfs, my legs are bowed. And so my doctor, he cut my inner leg bone in two places and stuck wedges of graft bone in there so it would be the same length as my outer bone. So here's the film just before you left. Right now, screws and plates are holding together the graft bone with my real bone. And so after maybe a year, as my bone connects with the graft bone, I can take the screws out. Things are really in, in fine shape. Okay, so now, cast off, and then we're going to decide what to do as far as casting, bracing, walking, that kind of thing. I have one more question. Um, can I keep the cast? Yes. We, we have no need for it anymore. <laughs> okay. Cast off. That was nerve wracking. <laughs> What's your hand? When I first got my cast off, I got the. Uh, I looked at my leg, my whole leg was all like yellowy and gross and all but a dead skin and like dirty and it was kind of disgusting. His leg looks big still, not as yeah, tall as I it thought. It looks puffy. Um, it looks straight though. Say, just say that again for me, I like to hear it. <laughs> it looks straight though, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the plan. 
Oh yeah, it, it was still really puffy because it was really um, swollen still, but it looked a lot strange. Like I was amazed. I was like, whoa, weird. Looks all right. Quite right. So, like we said, we want nothing bad. I want the hardware to be in place. Hardware is exactly the way it was. Okay, good. Um, seeing healing <clears throat> when the bones are close together is hard because you'll see it fill in, but if the bones are close together, there's not a lot of space. Yeah. So, you see just a little bit of fluffiness there. Uh-huh. Or that was, this is good. This is really good. It's still probably not going to be till March till I can walk. No, you'll be walking before then. I'm scared. I'm really scared to walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Physical therapy will help you get started. I'd like to get him in a short leg cast mm -hmm. with a hinge knee brace. Okay? That way you can work with physical therapy, but you're still protected in the brace. Mm -hmm. In two weeks, you can start walking with the hinge brace on and your cast. Mm -hmm. You're probably no more than four weeks from walking with nothing and being healed. Can I do red this time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll do red. The doctor gave me a really good positive prognosis of the leg. I guess it's been healing really fast. And so in like four weeks, I'll be able to start walking again. Well, are you excited? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like things are going really good, Zach. Uh, I can't wait to get rid of all my casts so I can get back to life and soccer and school, and all that fun stuff. Look at that, I'm gonna go home with more stuff than I brought. Let me see, he's pistol. How do you like it? It was disgusting. You know, with um, it was hideous. Did it feel weird? It was hideous. Did it feel weird though? Yeah. And with I want to air. Thank you for going with red this time. You did that for me, didn't you? Of course. You know, I didn't want to tell you this in advance because I don't want to scare you. But my the scariest thing ever when I was in the hospital was having my cast cut off. Was it scary to you? Oh, it was like a vibrator thing. I told Zach when I got my cast off, I mean, that was the scariest time for me because it seemed like every time they would buzz the cast off, I would somehow get cut and start a bleeding. And so for me, that was the scariest part of getting the cast taken off. You know, but luckily, Zach didn't really have any problem. And, you know, I'm glad. I'm really proud of how Zach handled himself through this whole process. There's a bunch of old men. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's ew. Go check this out. A mixture of iodine and blood. This is all over my leg. Wow. Zach, smell it. It doesn't, it doesn't smell at all. Just take a look. I don't think it's that bad, really. It doesn't smell at all. How does it not it smell? smell? A roll-off leg? <laughs> it doesn't smell. Mom, I don't know how to put this back together. Zach, look at your red one. It's so much sweeter. Did it feel weird? Yeah. I'm having a no bending for months. Zach, if I were you, I'd bend it straight. I'd keep bending it straight. That's why I said I'm done. See, you can't even go straight yet. You've got to feel a little better being a short leg. Mm. I have no more support, so when it dangles, it hurts. Yeah, it's only a little while. Molly, we should go here. Go where? Let me see. Look at this. Way better. Lately, I've really started getting more into geography. I just like it because I like finding out where things are, like, especially old empires, they were here, but then that turned into this, and that's next to that, and yeah. Us New Zealand. I think, like, the world is full of a bunch of really cool places that I want to go see. I'm also going to see the Falkland Islands. The what islands? Falk. Where? Falkland. Where are they? Falkland. What? Check it out, Molly. Check what out? Check out where these Falkland Islands are. <laughs> Bet I can find them quicker than you can. I bet I can figure it out quicker. God, this looks the worst. Me and Zach had like kind of competition race thingy. Is this book for real? To see you could find the Falkland Islands first. I found them, I found them, I found them, I found them. No, you didn't, no, you didn't, no, you didn't. Zach's got skill. I was a little disappointed he won. But, um, yeah, I was close behind. Zach, where are they? 
They're um, off the coast of Argentina, south. Oh. What side? The east or west side? Or just south? Chili's on the other side. Oh. oh. Damn. Zach knows his geography. Where are we headed? Wherever I want. <laughs> Hi there. How Good, how are you? Yep, two. You know, Molly's been talking a lot lately about, you know, her interest in traveling and, and geography. So, you know, I thought it would be fun to take her out to lunch and, you know, just hear a little bit more about what she's interested in. So, Mom, what would be the first place you'd want to go? I'll just name off a bunch. I want to go to Rome and Florence and Venice. What I don't get is you guys didn't go to Rome when you guys were in Italy. I think that was like the stupidest mistake well, Rome, ever. Okay. And Paris and London. Okay. Um, and then I want to go to Germany. You don't want to go any Asia countries? Like, no, I'm, I'm thinking. I want to see the Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China, so you want to go to China. And also, Dan, Edmonton in Alberta has the largest mall in North America. It has the what? Largest mall in North America. When I'm old enough to like travel on my own or whatever, the first place I want to go is Europe. I want to see the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, and old cathedrals and stuff in Rome and everywhere. I've been to probably almost every, I've been to every state, except for Alaska, in well, the United uh, States. Name a state I haven't been to. Arkansas. I've been to Arkansas. Kansas? No, Nebraska? I've been to Nebraska. Have you been to uh, Missouri? Yep. Louisiana? Mississippi, yep. Colorado. Many, 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 many times. Rhode Island? Mm -hmm. Vermont? Years ago. New Hampshire? But several New Jersey? Times. Wisconsin. When? We were just there last summer, sister. Oh, yeah. Maine? Been to, no. Come to think of that, you're right, I haven't been to Maine. Never been to Maine. Alaska and Maine. Yep. I've been like everywhere. While we were sitting there at lunch, you know, I started thinking about it. I thought, you know, Molly and I should just go take a father-daughter trip. I mean, I've taken Zach on business trips before, and but, you know, this was an opportunity for me to take Molly on a trip. And, you know, I had to go down to uh, Southern California on business, and, and I thought maybe I'd take Molly along, and, you know, maybe we could just spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. So where else do you want to go? Everywhere. I had a business trip coming up down in Irvine, California, and I thought, you know, since my meeting was going to be real short and I had a lot of free time of, on the trip, why not combine this business trip and also some one-on-one -on -one time with Molly? All right, talk to you soon. Bye. It's Molly, is being a player, when you say, oh, that guy's a player, is that good or bad? Bad. Okay. Why? Funny. If you ask me if being a player was good, I'd say, oh, yeah, must be. yeah, a guy's a player. That's cool. It means he's hip, he's into it. But being a player means you're bad. it's a bad thing. That's what I'm finding out, right? Yeah. Well, how, how does the older crowd like me supposed to get to know all the new stuff? By having kids. This is really the first time I think Molly and I have ever just done a real just alone on the road together trip. You know, it's just her and I. And um, so that's special, you know, I mean, you don't realize how quickly your kids grow up and you miss those opportunities to be able to just say, hey, this is going to be, you know, a time when you and I can spend together and, uh, you know, I want to do this more with her. I think I chipped my tooth. Can you look at this real carefully? Is it still rough right there? It's a little bit, yeah. Okay. But not a lot more than your other tooth. You know, about a year ago, I took Zach on a trip to explore some career possibilities for him. And, you know, now it just seems like it would be the right time to do the same sort of thing with Molly. Molly's been talking about different places she wants to go in the world. Rand McNally has a big office down here in Southern California. You know, we had an opportunity to come by. It's like the largest map maker in North America. So maybe someday you'll become a cartographer. I wondered what it was called. I was afraid to. Cartographer is a map maker. That's a map maker, OK. I think me and my dad, we're pretty close, but he's on the, like, traveling a lot, so I don't always get to see him as much. Did you ever know all this was going on behind the scenes? Mm -mm. It was kind of cool that he took time out on his business trip and stuff and took me with him. 
We've never really been to, I've never been to Crater Lake. Have you been to Crater Lake? Well, Crater Lake's all the way down there. Yeah. She seems to have like a real adventurous spirit, which is great. I think she'd like to travel and she loves maps and I can sense that she's gonna spend some time moving around the world. Wow, look at, they have a world map over there too. I kind of look at the traveling and the geography kind of the same, cause it's like, you see it on the map and you read about it and stuff. And it's like, I want to go there and like, actually like feel it, you know? So it's like real, not just on paper. Molly, what do you think? Did you learn some things? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. She's already planning her trips. Yeah. <laughs> you know, while Molly and I were down in Irvine, California, I thought it would you know, it'd be a great opportunity for me to check in on the six-year-old friend of mine named Chance. Chance? How you doing? Is Boy, you, you, you remember me. I can tell by that little smile. Oh, yeah. How are you? Can you shake my hand? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, I first met Chance through our nonprofit organization, CODA, which is the Coalition of Dwarf Advocacy. And, you know, a lot of people generously provided us some funds, and we were able to use those to, to help um, this great couple adopt Chance and bring him home. So how's the trach and the medical stuff happen going? It's coming along. It's, um, you know, it's going to be a little slow process. But the next step is he has a cleft palate that they need to repair. And if that takes well and, and is repaired well, then they'd be able to start working on downsizing the trach this summer. Would he be able to get his voice back at that point? That's what we're hoping. It's been about five months since Chance has been home with us, and hopefully within the next couple months, we'll start him vocalizing. The doctors have told us his vocal cords look great, the airway is clear now, so that there, there should be no reason why he won't be able to start vocalizing. We can hardly wait to hear him say mom and dad, and especially to hear his giggle. We can hardly wait to hear that. Yeah. You tell the little guy wants to talk. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, it's yeah. there. He's wanting he just, to do it. He okay. needs yeah. to get to that part. I want to see you walk before I go, too. I, I remember you walking into the hospital last time I saw you, and you walked like crazy. Yes, yeah, you want to stand? You want to stand? Yeah. You want yeah, to stand with we, your walker? Yeah, can we see you walk okay. around? You want to go that way? Okay, go. Okay, go. You want me to fall? You want, me oh, to you fall. want Matt to go? Oh, oh yeah, oh, okay. okay. I can do that. <laughs> okay. Well, it's always exciting to see Chance. I mean, he get up and he walks around. He, he spent pretty much the first five years of his life in a hospital. So, you know, he's really curious about all the new environments. And he just likes to get out there, you know, check everything out and explore. I don't blame him. Okay, we'll be back in a week. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hadn't seen Chance for a while. It was great to get an update from him. It looks like he's doing real, real good. Chance was very excited. He's been asking all week about seeing his friends, and we were all excited to meet Molly and talk with him and let Chance show off uh, how well he's doing. Oh, you're making it. All right. Come on this way. Come around here. Well, Chance, it was awfully good to see you. I'm good glad you guys you. came out to say hi as we're down here. I say thank you. See you later. Yeah, see you later. See you later. And give him see a smile. See you later. Give him a smile. Yeah. <laughs> That's our chance. Are you silly? When you smile, <laughs> let me tell you, you smile. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. We'll fly into London and we'll get on a train, but we'll get a train with like cabins and we'll go to Paris, get off the train for a day or so. Well, do we'll the, do a world in Europe trip like yeah, we did. Yeah, exactly. We, Amy and I took this great you know, trip through Europe, you know, a few years back and, uh, you know, we had a great time and now we've been talking to Molly about maps and all the things that she's interested in. You know, I've got this big scheme forming in my hand and maybe the whole family should take a trip through Europe. That would be fun to do a whirlwind trip. How many weeks do you need for that? Okay, you know what? I have a job. Well, I know that you and Molly are going to go back to Europe later on after I'm crippled and done and finished, but, you know, maybe I want to take the kids before that. Well, I'm definitely not going to sit around when I'm old. Well, let's go out now. Hey, Ma, where's your world map? Bring me your world map. Ooh. It's upstairs. Well, let me show you what I got in mind. Yeah, look at this one. Okay, where's the pen? Here. Mo, here's my idea. Don't mark on it. No, I know. So we'll fly from uh, Portland and we'll go into O'Hare. From O'Hare, we shoot over to London. 
London's up there. No, London's right. Oh, London's right. <laughs> Oh, London, yeah, right there. Well, you know, I've seen quite a bit of the world. You know, I've traveled extensively on business. But, you know, as a family, we haven't really gone very many places. Probably all of the seven wonders are in Greece. I told you guys you need to go there. Before the kids grow up, you know, there's still a lot of adventures that I'd like to share, you know, together with them as a, you know, as a family. And time flies by so quickly. I just want to make sure that, you know, we don't let these moments pass us by. So Mom, isn't Roloff Farm one of the seven wonders of the world? Maybe in your own backyard. I don't have any friends in this room. No friends. On the next Little People, Big World. Being a cat and not being able to walk, the more emotionally painful, I can't really do much. When he first saw his leg and how much straighter it was, and that was amazing. Look at his legs. Oh yeah, look at yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> you are so dead. Oh, God. Uh, oh, Mom! It's gonna make me hurt my leg. What? I can't run. Running was a bad choice.